The historic Point Bonita Lighthouse is at the end of a 0.5 mile trail in the Marin Headlands near Sausalito and San Francisco. It's a great place to visit for some awesome ocean views and interesting history. The Point Bonita Lighthouse is in the Marin Headlands which can be easily accessed from Sausalito and then after getting to the trailhead you'll only have to walk about 0.5 miles downhill to get to the lighthouse. You can walk most of the trail at any time, but the lighthouse is only open from 9.30 in the morning to 3.30 p.m. on Thursday through Monday. The lighthouse was completed in 1855 and was only the third lighthouse ever built on the west coast. Its history can be traced back to the California Gold Rush when the Alcatraz Lighthouse showed the way for ships in front of the Golden Gate and the Fort Point Lighthouse marked the southern edge of the San Francisco Bay. Eventually another lighthouse was needed to help guide the way for ships sailing up the coast from the south and the Point Benita lighthouse was built. Even though the original part of the lighthouse was built in 1855, it was actually at a different site and then was moved to this site at Point Benita in 1877 and a new part of the structure was built to support the original half. As you continue down the path towards the tunnel that leads to the lighthouse, you'll get some more awesome views of the ocean, and if you look down, you'll even be able to see some harbor seals sometimes. It's also an awesome place to get some views of flocks of pelicans passing by. After this section, we'll go over a part of the path on a ridge that connects the Point Bonita Peninsula to the Marin Headlands. On this last section of the path before the tunnel, you'll get some awesome wide views of the San Francisco Bay and the Golden Gate Bridge in the distance. A short tunnel leads to the lighthouse after this, and it was actually hand carved into the rock in the 1870s. After this point, you'll have to go over a short suspension bridge to the lighthouse, which is a really cool experience as you're actually over 100 feet over the ocean below. You'll get some really cool views when you're out over the ocean, but you might not like this part if you are afraid of heights. Since it's almost always windy over the ocean here, you'll probably feel the bridge swaying slightly under you as you walk across it.
Once you get to the tip of the peninsula, you'll have an option to go inside the lighthouse and also explore the viewing decks around it. By walking around the outside of the lighthouse, you can get amazing 360 degree views of the coast, the open ocean, and the San Francisco Bay. You might also even see whales or dolphins out here, and I did see a whale once or twice popping up in the ocean, but I wasn't able to record it with the right timing. Once you go inside the lighthouse, you'll be able to see its cool old architecture as well as some more interesting facts on its history. Right at the entrance, there are also some facts about the Rio de Janeiro steamship that sunk in the San Francisco Bay in the 1800s. This is meant to show that even though the lighthouses were effective at preventing some disasters, they weren't always perfect due to thick fog. Right in the next room, there's an exhibit on the history of the light sources used in the Point Bonita Lighthouse, starting with the whale oil lamp in the 1850s. Then from 1870 to 1913, a kerosene wick lamp was used before it was converted to an incandescent oil vapor mantle lamp in 1913. The lighthouse converted to electric lighting in 1927 and the incandescent lamp was used all the way up until last year when the lighthouse was converted to LED. They have a GE halogen lamp in the room to represent incandescent lighting. Another interesting part of the lamp room at the Point Benito Lighthouse is the Fresnel glass lens. It was invented in 1822 and uses ground glass prisms arranged in rings around the lamp to bend 70% of the outgoing light to focus it horizontally. Seven types of lenses were actually developed for this lighthouse and for example the second lens sends the beam 18 miles across the water in clear conditions. So that's the end of this video on the Point Bonita Lighthouse. Thanks for watching.